It's time now for Clips of the Week, the part of the show where we drive GB News presenters and guests to distraction as we take their thoughtful and considered contributions, remove all context from them and present them in a weekly roundup format for cheap Friday night laughs. And we start with the biggest story of the week and it came from Scotland. Nicola Sturgeon has resigned as First Minister of Scotland after eight years in power. What a story. Now, Nigel Farage has many qualities and has single-handedly changed the face of British politics. But perhaps his most compelling uh, attribute, his greatest quality, is how he calls a spade a spade. Here is a vintage example from this week. But on a purely personal level, on a day like this, I have to say, I found Nicola Sturgeon one of the most unpleasant people I've ever met in any walk of life. Ouch, and Nigel very much picking a side there. Now, SAS hero and GB News regular Phil Campion was on the channel this week and he opened fire on the French. Firstly, can I just say um, that if we're going to listen to the French, they've been no position to talk about anybody. They're the back of the queue for everything, unless it's being liberated. Um, <laughs> they, they are well out of turn. Sacre bleu. Now, it's nice to see that Brexit hasn't soured relations between the UK and France. By the way, where is Phil? Let's just take a look, shall we? Oh, my goodness. He's in a strange sort of rural location. I guess he was killing two birds with one stone. Do an interview with GB News whilst scouting the woods for potential dogging locations. Great guy, Phil. Terrific stamina. Now, Free Speech Nation is one of Britain's most highbrow discussion shows. I always learn so much. This week, I found out that Star Wars, apparently, is very gay. Uh, Star Wars has already got the gay characters, the robots. Those two yeah. robots, they're gay. They're a yeah. gay couple. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, R2-D2, that is a homosexual robot. Yes. Yeah. There's no way he's straight. I mean, yeah. C-3PO is the camp one and yeah. R2-D2 is the butch. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So R2-D2's the top, C-3PO's the bottom. Yeah, we know. <laughs> I like the little one because he's a perfect height. Yeah, I like <laughs> <him>. yeah. <laughs> Wowzers. Well, I must admit, although I'm very happily married, I am partial to a good Ewok. May the farce be with you. Now, I know that Nicola Sturgeon and Alex Salmond were close political allies back in the day, but Christine Hamilton goes a bit further. He groomed her mm -hmm. um, from, for a very young age. Blimey, Christine not pulling her punches there. Last weekend, we were discussing the behaviour of cyclists on the road. So here's a clip of me out and about on a bicycle, demonstrating my deep knowledge of the highway code. There I am on my bicycle. Perhaps Greta Thunberg might finally start returning my calls. It was Valentine's Day this week, and what better way to spend it than tuning in to Patrick Christie's, who's, of course, recently engaged and has become quite the romantic, as you can see from this. Love is in the air, apparently. Yes, it's Valentine's Day. Is it just a big con to get us all to spend money on chocolates, flowers and pretend to love each other? Pretend to love each other? Sorry, did I say Patrick was engaged? I'm afraid he's now single. If you'd like a romp with Patrick, please get in touch with GB Lovers at 0800 555 Christie's and also seek counselling immediately. Now, Dawn Neeson was covering for Lawrence Fox the other night and they have so much in common. Hello and welcome to Wednesday night with obviously someone that quite clearly isn't Lawrence Flox. Too tall, blonde and slightly irritating as well, but that's about where it finishes. Tall, blonde and slightly irritating, GB News would never hire anyone like that. Moving swiftly on. And let's talk about headliners again. The brilliant comedian Josh Howey cancelling himself this week on our popular late night newspaper review show. I'm going to do the accent, but I'm going to do an impression of someone. <laughs> doing, uh, to, you know, totally tropical taste. Did he used to have a Which, racist accent? I don't well, remember Well, it that. was a Caribbean accent, yeah. so you can't do yeah. that now. But I was doing an impression of someone doing that. that. I wasn't yeah. actually doing it myself. Was it Absolutely disgraceful behaviour. Not the accent. Getting rid of lilt. Staying on headliners, and who needs context where Nick Dixon is concerned after Josh Howey's risky... Caribbean impression, Nick's response was a simple one. Hold my beer. Um, slavery was good. 
Crikey, Nick, even for GB News, that was a bit strong. And those have been your Clips of the Week.